tonight on Nietzsche and the Art of Entrepreneurialism, and I thought I'd start with a Twitter. He was the tweeting philosopher. For any sort of aesthetic activity to exist, a certain physiological precondition is indispensable intoxication. Can I name it on you? Okay, jumping right in. Existentialism says that we live in a universe of unknowns. There are no fixed standards. Individuals create their own meaning in their own world. Personal responsibility, self-determination, and freedom are paramount. And I think if you push those principles against entrepreneurialism, you will see the parallels immediately. Entrepreneurs exist and operate in a universe of unknowns. There are no fixed standards. Entrepreneurs create their own meanings, products. They create their own world, businesses. Self-determination, freedom, and personal responsibility are core. So that really is the foundation of this talk tonight. Existentialism and entrepreneurialism are surprisingly related. And in that sense, existentialism gives us some insights into entrepreneurialism. Now, Nietzsche's brand of existentialism has as its central motif the ubermensch, or the overman, or if you like your overman in blue tights and red capes, the superman. And that overman is an individual who has reached deep inside and has discovered, channeled, embraced, understood, made manifest in their life their will to power. As Nietzsche puts it, the overman has organized the chaos of his passions, has given style to his character, and has become creative. And that's the link to entrepreneurialism. Because at bottom, entrepreneurialism is about creativity, originality, and innovation. You did not know that you needed a single device to keep the hot hot and the cold cold until an entrepreneur innovated and gave you the thermos. That is not something you learn. That's not something you teach. That's something that's hard baked in your DNA. You can tattoo it, I don't think that works, but you can give that a shot. It comes from inside, and that's what Nietzsche says. It's that psychological urge, the will to power, to be innovative. That's point one. The Nietzschean will to power, entrepreneurial innovation, sister concepts. Okay, point two. In our society today, entrepreneurialism, while very important, don't get me wrong, and, I, and I'm a huge believer in this, but it tends to be over-glamorized and sort of over-glorified. It's about hockey stick revenue growth, it's about easy money from investors, it's about quick access to the Young Millionaires Club, it's about a really bad suit and a bad tie and carrying around a globe. <laughs> Google Images think so, so that's why I shared it. But if you spend any time with an entrepreneur, you will learn immediately that entrepreneurialism is about really hard work. And it's not like that 15 to 20 minutes in the middle of every Rocky movie. It is like 24-7, 365, incessant, unceasing, doesn't stop, struggle. Nietzsche speaks to this and we talk about it in four ways. First of all, literally and figuratively, the entrepreneur begins alone. My daughter thinks that this is the saddest picture in the world. I think that's pretty sad too. <laughs> to be in that kind of a resource poor environment, incredibly stressful. Second, Entrepreneurs are surrounded by negativity, criticism, advice, which is really just sort of soft negativity, all the mistakes, the errors, all the problems that you're making, everything you're doing wrong. You've got to punch through that, and that is, that is really difficult work. Third, entrepreneurs operate without a net. They drive without a map. There is no right way. There's no correct way. There's no road less traveled because there is no road at all. The entrepreneur is hacking the new road through the wilderness. That is incredibly difficult to do. Fourth, and I think most importantly, the entrepreneur has got to figure out a way to quiet those inner voices, and some of us have those voices more than others. But the idea is, is that staying in your comfort zone is easy. Evolution is exhilarating, personal growth is exhilarating, but it hurts and it's hard, you've got to fight through. Nietzsche in a nutshell, will to power and pain. <laughs> entrepreneurial innovation and struggle. Now in the same way that the movie Napoleon Dynamite gave us some insights into one unique kind of dork. I think that Nietzschean existentialism gives us some unique insights. It can be used as a magnifying lens to shed light on the character, the heart, and the soul of the entrepreneur. And if you're interested in being an entrepreneur, you are an entrepreneur, you're interested in entrepreneurialism, I would commend Nietzsche to you. The gay science is a great place to start. It can also be translated into joyous wisdom. I heard the Snickers. You don't have to be a gay scientist, but if you are, it's like a double win. <laughs> anything about entrepreneurialism, I would still encourage you to check out Nietzsche. Live dangerously, discover your individuality, find your will to power. I, you, he will have tweets, he will have philosophies, he will have something that interests you and that resonates. Thank you.